Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. This is Adam's Graphene VRT. Vinyl rubber tire, 16 ounces, for anywhere between $21 and $24.99, depending on where you look. It can be picked up on Amazon as well. It contains graphene ceramic resins. Uh, it's said to darken and restore vinyl and rubber, especially your tires. Protects them as well and puts a thick cream lotion with zero sling. No, no oily residue and feels dry to the touch as well and has a green apple scent. Let me show you application on this Defender here. Easy application, even as viscous as it is, it spreads out nicely over the rubber, over the tire. Uh, has a nice scent to it. It's a um, user-friendly and pleasurable experience so far to use it. As usual, I'm just going to get this out of the way early. It's going to be the durability of these tire coatings, whether it's uh, SiO2 or SiO2 and graphene or graphene on its own or uh, whatever they add to these dressings. I have yet to find one I'm happy with. There are quite a few that look fantastic. Um, Duracoat has one that lasts rather long as well. If you can think of one on your own, uh, name it down in the comments section and share it with all of us. Uh, there are a few that look good and last yeah, okay, you know, maybe uh, a month or two. It, but that's really subjective. It really depends on your environment. The rubber and the tire is always uh, on the road. It's the closest thing on your vehicle to the road. So it really takes a lot of abuse. So obviously it's going to take something special to last on that surface. doesn't take long at all to get around all four tires, all five if you hit the back spare tire. Going on, it will immediately look a bit glossy. Don't worry, that kicks back a little bit. You're supposed to let it cure for a few hours minimum. Um, they really would prefer a full day of staying away from free-flowing water, um, washing your vehicle, or rainfall. Anything that contains SiO2 or is a ceramic the more you let it cure without getting wet, the more you uh, will get the results you might be looking for when it comes to durability. Obviously, it can be layered. The more you layer it, the glossier it will look. You can also follow up with a microfiber and kick it back even further. Preparation for a product like this, you want to clean the rubber the best you can, as many rounds as it takes with your favorite rubber or tire cleaner. We picked one uh, used tire here off of the pile behind the shop. We're going to clean it with a product. I'm going to do a full review, the 3-in-1 wheel tire mat cleaner from Grios Garage. We'll do a de dedicated video on that. Including floor mats into the mix may be helpful for you or others, so we'll do a full review. We want to clean the tire and rubber the best we can, get the pores of the rubber cleaned out, not only the resins that are seeping uh, from the tire itself, but browning from um, existing old tire dressings that are really getting caked up with brake dust and road dirt. All that has to be cleaned off. So the VRT can get a nice bond with the rubber. This is all obvious and most of you know, but there's a lot of uh, new viewers to the channel and I do have to repeat this as often as I can.
rinse the tire thoroughly, let it dry completely. The rubber has to be completely dry for the coating not to be uh, dissipated or diluted uh, and gets the best bond with the rubber. And using your favorite applicator, just evenly get it on the rubber and spread it out. We're going to do half the tire so we can see the difference before and after and then after it cures. Then we'll beat it up with some chemicals. Um, we'll see how durable it is. Again, right off the bat, it will be a bit glossy. Don't worry about that. When it's cured, it will kick back quite a bit and will just give you the new tire look. Unless you want to put multiple layers on there and get the gloss you are looking for. When cured, this is what it will look like. Dry to the touch. It doesn't feel oily. It actually feels a little bit slicker than the rest of the tire. No transfer back onto my glove. And I like this look. This tire is beat up, but when I mention how I like the look, I like that new tire satin look. I don't like anything really overly glossy. When it comes to water behavior, you can see that there's a little bit of protection uh, in the rubber. Beads up a bit. Durability is always going to be the question when it comes to tire dressings, tire coatings that uh, include protectants. And you can see after just one wash, this is gone. Now, the label does indicate a few hours to a full day of curing. I would go beyond that if you can. But I don't know too many people who can, every time they apply a tire dressing, let it sit for 24 hours. So, I mean, that that's questionable. That's, that's iffy right there. I, I wouldn't be able to do that. So there are other choices out there that cure a little bit quicker. Um, when it dries, you could see there's no indication that there was a dressing or a tire coating put on there whatsoever. So this does look fantastic. It is a user-friendly experience. It's pleasurable to work with. It has a nice scent, but durability is almost non-existent unless you can let it cure for a couple days at a time. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.